Maxi scooters are a staple on Philippine roads. You can see a lot of them plying the metro at a given time. And why not? They're comfortable, fuel efficient, at siempre maporma din. So what does the biggest motorcycle manufacturer in the world have to offer in this segment? Well, here it is. The Honda PCX. It's time to go beyond the ride. Equipped with Honda's 150cc four-stroke liquid-cooled fuel-injected single overhead cam engine, the PCX produces 14.4 horsepower at 8,500 rpm and 13.6 newton meters of torque at 6,500 rpm. The engine is paired with a V-belt automatic transmission and comes with a tank capacity of 8 liters. In terms of fuel economy, it gets up to 45.2 kilometers to the liter, helped along by Honda's idling stop technology. Looks-wise, I would say it's in the more elegant side. It's got classy lines, and because it's white, it kind of reminds me of the marble sculptures that you would see in the fine arts museums. The lights up front and in the rear are LED, and there are no turn signal stocks sticking out of it whatsoever. The large lens in the front has everything you need and then some. The rear taillight is a trademark PC with a very distinct X down the center flanked by flush turn indicators. It's got a keyless system and if you've watched any of our other videos, you know I'm not the biggest fan of these, but it's maybe because I'm just a little old school like that. Nah, you're just old. F*** you. <laughs> the storage space of the bike is pretty decent. You have a nice little compartment over here with a 12 volt socket that you can put your phone or other gadgets you want to charge. And the compartment underneath the seat gives you about 28 liters of space. Good enough for some full face helmets, rain gear, extra clothes, maybe a water bottle. And of course, being 2021, you're probably gonna need a face mask and your face shield as well. One unique quirk that I find with the PCX is with the design of the passenger foot pegs. They're not your typical peg, but when not in use, they fold flush with the bodywork of the bike. And when you need to use them, they reveal a wide surface area for your foot. The dashboard is an all digital affair. You get your speedometer, clock, fuel meter, a trip computer, fuel economy, odometer, a large turn signal indicator, as well as a nice PCX logo that glows. The buttons feel pretty premium and true to all Hondas. The horn placement is switched with the turn signal indicator, so you might honk at someone instead of indicating or canceling your signal light. However, unlike some of its rivals, Honda decided to add a little bling to the mix with a chrome handlebar but didn't bother to cover the brake lines, which we're not a big fan of. The wheels of the PCX come in at 14 inches in diameter, and the tires in the front are 100 by 80, while the rear is a 120 by 70. Both are tubeless. Stopping power is delivered via a disc up front and a rear mechanical leading trailing drum, and ABS is standard. The PCX also has standard telescopic forks in the front and a unit swing arm at the back. The seat height is 764 millimeters. I am five foot six. And as you can see, using my red wings, I am flat foot on the ground. The curb weight is 131 kilograms. And that makes it really maneuverable in city traffic. When you first set off with the PCX, you will notice the engine has a bit of vibration at low RPMs. We're not sure whether it's because the unit we have is at 5,000 kilometers, but everything smoothens out when you get up to speed. 
the seat is really comfortable on the road. You get additional support for your lower back since the seat does hug you nicely. Buti pa yung seat, no? And supports you when you're out riding around. However, it's still not the flushest thing on the planet. The suspension combined with the seat makes for a really comfortable ride. Except, of course, when you're going through the imperfections of the Manila roads. I can't help but feel like I'm on a couch or on a lazy boy when I ride this. However, I feel that the handlebars, well, it's very early 2000s. It's very pimp my ride. Not a big fan of it anymore. I used to be, not so much anymore. The brakes, meanwhile, feel very, very good. Like most Hondas. The front is a bit on the mushy side, while the rear has loads of stopping power. Put them both together and coupled with the ABS, you're going to find yourselves stopping on a dime all the time. The power is very good as well and a bit surprising. With other scooters, you will notice that there's a tiny little kick of torque when you reach the higher RPM range. But with this PCX, I feel that the little kick is a bit more pronounced, especially when you twist the throttle. Though it's still no big bike, it's pretty peppy. Filtering in traffic and going around the bends is also very, very nice on this bike. You get a sense of ease. While you don't have a tank to grip onto, a simple counter steer with the handlebars will be enough to send you into a bank. And the bike tips in very easily and effortlessly. To be honest, it feels a bit more special than its rivals. Can't believe I said that, but it is true. Honda has done a pretty good job in order to set the PCX apart from some of the competition, design-wise and also riding-wise. So, the verdict. Well, in the brief time that I've had this scooter, I've actually gotten to like it. It's got everything I look for in a scooter. It's fuel efficient, it's extremely comfortable, and it's got some good looks. And it can be yours for a price tag of 133,900 Philippine pesos. That's actually not a bad deal, considering the competition. Now, for more information about this bike and other great MCs out there, log on to www.motodeal.com.ph. This has been Gene Erpine. Hope you guys enjoyed going beyond the ride.